Hey, what's up guys? It's Tech Summer, talking to you here. And today I want to talk about the future of the Mac for 2022 and 2023. So what can we expect from the Mac lineup in the next few months? Because if you don't know, the Apple event is happening this Wednesday of this week, of course, and we are getting the iPhone 14s and the new Apple Watches. But instead of talking about that event again, which I've made videos in the past, like several times, today's video is focused on the Mac lineup because that's one of the most things that it interests me and I think interests you. It's the new Apple Silicon lineup and what can we expect in the next few months? Because there's a lot of talks about the M2 Pro, MacBook Pros, the M2 Max, even the Mac Pro. When is the new Apple Silicon Mac Pro coming out? Or even the Mac Mini. Are we getting an M2 Pro Mac Mini, an M2 Mac Mini even? And of course, is it the iMac Pro then? Or is it? Because there's a lot of things that has not been defined on the Mac lineup yet. And I think it's very interesting to talk about. And so in today's video, I will go deep into this matter. And of course, if you like these types of videos, do not forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to my channel. That would be very helpful, guys. Thank you guys for all your support. You are reaching almost 700 subscribers. Thank you for all the support. Let's reach 1,000 by the end of the year. So, no further ado, let's get started. So, as you know, the Mac lineup right now is composed by very different computers. It starts with the Mac Mini at $799, and it has only the M1 chip. This Mac Mini, it's the only and first computer to come out with the M1 chip, besides the M1 MacBook Air, M1 MacBook Pro, and M1 iMac. So, the M1 Mac Mini, it's the only Mac Mini to have the Apple Silicon. You also have the Intel machine Mac Mini. That one sucks. Do not think about that one. That one will probably be killed off this year. But what can we expect from the Mac Mini this year? Or at least for the Mac lineup in general? Well, the M2 Mac Mini is expected to come out this year, but with a surprise. According to leakers, the M2 Mac Mini will be accompanied by the M2 Pro Mac Mini. Yes, Apple is putting the M2 chip on the Mac Mini, and so they will kill the more power and more pro Mac Mini with the Intel chip this year. And this M2 Pro Mac Mini will be quite a value, because if the current Mac Mini starts at $799, or at least $699 refurbished with the M1 chip, then it's likely that Apple will be able to charge around $1,000 for the M2 Pro Mac Mini, and that would be a great, great value if that happens. So. For the Mac Mini, no more than a spec bump with the M2 chip and M2 Pro chip, it's actually required and is actually expected because Apple will probably keep the same design, the same port layouts. It will probably give it a little bit more USB-Cs and give it a little bit more compatibility with displays. But I think that's it. I think the Mac Mini will stay the same. It's a box with a chip, no more than that. I don't think Apple will redesign it this year, but if they do, that would be pretty cool. Try to make it a little bit smaller, try to reduce as much of the size as possible, because as we saw in the last M1 Mac Mini, the M1 chip logic board is actually very small and occupies very little space inside of the computer. So if Apple could do a very, very, very small and compact M1 chip capable device, or at least M2 Pro and M2 chip capable device, that would be insane. But in terms of Mac Mini, we are not expecting more than an M2 and M2 Pro Mac Mini coming out until the end of this year, on a very probable and likely event around the November timeline. So expect a November to October timeline where Apple will release tons of new Pro products. But what's next for the Apple Silicon lineup? Then we have the M2 MacBook Air, which is a computer that came out this year, and so I don't expect a very recent update to this computer. So at least one year to one year and a half, this will be the same computer available on the shelves. But the M1 MacBook Air won't also be killed, it will be staying on the lineup, and so Currently, the budget Apple Silicon lineup goes from the M1 Mac Mini with the M2 replacing this one, then the M2 Pro Mac Mini, then the M1 MacBook Air around the same price as the M2 Pro Mac Mini, then you have the M2 MacBook Air, which is a little bit better in every single aspect as the M1 MacBook Air, but more expensive, then you have the M2 MacBook Pro, which I don't expect to be refreshed until like when the M3 comes out, then we have the more exciting and more expected products of the Apple Silicon lineup this year, which are the M2 Pro and M2 Max MacBook Pros. The MacBook Pros were always, always and always will be the bread and butter of the Apple Silicon and MacBook lineup because they are the most famous ones. The MacBook Pro name is very, very famous and a lot of people like to buy the MacBook Pro just because of the Pro name. And so this is a very 
expected computer on our community on YouTube because it's one of the most used machines to edit videos, video editing, photo editing, 3D rendering. And so there's a lot of interest in our community on these computers. So when can we expect the M2 Pro and M2 Max MacBook Pros to come out? Well, according to most recent leaks and rumors, these computers will be coming out around the end of 2022 to the beginning of 2023 if they are delayed. So expect a minor upgrade to the M2 Pro and M2 Max chips. So those will be a little bit faster, around 15 to 20% faster on CPU and around 30% faster on GPU. If we took the gains from the M2 for the, from the M1 to be correct and scalable to the M2 Pro and M2 Max. So yes, there won't be many changes in terms of design. There won't be many changes in terms of hardware, in terms of even, in my opinion, SSDs, configurations, RAM, nothing. I think that Apple will put a little bit more RAM. For example, the M2 chip now is configurable until 24 gigabytes of RAM. And I so expect Apple to at least give it an option of probably 72 option. I don't know if Apple gives it a little bit better uh, gigabytes of RAM for the Mac Pros or even updates uh, the cores or the CPUs. I don't know how this M2 and M2 Max will be laid out, but I don't expect a big upgrade for these computers. I expect a very minor spec refresh. And so should you. The price will probably stay the same and we should expect these computers to come out until the end of the year. If they don't come out, then they will be delayed at least until the March event timeline. So it will mark around one year and a half since they were released on October of 2021. Then, of course, we have the Mac Studio. The Mac Studio was released as the first product of its type on around May of 2022. Yes, this year, before WWDC. The Mac Studio was a machine that was very revolutionary for its time. It's the first time that we see a Mac Mini Pro. It's a very powerful and very capable machine, but it's not the Mac Pro. So you have to consider that the M2 Studio or the M2 Ultra chip coming on the Mac Studio will be more powerful, but yes, won't be the Mac Pro. So be careful when considering the Mac Studio, because if you do want a Mac Pro, the Mac Studio may be be the computer for you. Because the Mac Studio covers all the ground in terms of performance, in terms of the ports, hardware. It doesn't come with a display. It doesn't come with a mouse. No, it doesn't. It doesn't come with a keyboard. But if you all already have those things and you need a very powerful computer, then the M2 Ultra chip will be just insane. Coming out, in my opinion, at the end of 2023. I think Apple will give it at least a one year and a half refresh update, or at least when they release the Mac Pro with the new M2 Ultra and M2 X3, the rumored chip for the Mac Pro. Then, of course, I do think that the Mac Studio will keep the same design with a small, small and very minor refresh to its core in size. So I don't think the Mac Studio will change much. And if you do really need a Mac Studio right now, there's no better time to buy it than now. So these are the normal computers on the lineup. Then let's talk about the desktops with the display and the all-in-ones. Because the M1 iMac was released on around March of 2021. So yes, it was very, very delayed now until it's refresh. It's almost been one year and a half now that since the M1 iMac has come out. And in my opinion, Apple should release and refresh this computer until the end of the year. But there's no leaks and rumors suggesting that. So when can we expect an M2 iMac? Well, if you ask me, I do think that Apple could release this computer on the March event of 2023 together with the release of probably the Mac Pros if Apple decides to. If they don't, then they will release it together with another iPad Air on an iPad mini, I don't know, on a very spring focused event. His M2 iMac will keep probably the same design. It will change the colors, maybe somehow new colors just to change things up. And of course, the display will probably keep the same design, the same with the new inside, just with the M2 chip. No more than that. I don't think Apple wants to expand the 24 inch iMac that much. But the iMac Pro has been killed off since Apple killed off the Intel chips on the iMac. And right now we don't have a replacement. Yes, the 27 inch size iMac has been killed off for a long time and Apple has not replaced it yet. So in my opinion, I think Apple will release an iMac Pro and leaks are kind of supporting that with Mark Herman saying on a re recent podcasts with Max Tech that the iMac Pro might not be there. And Apple might resurrect it with a probable M2 Ultra chip on this iMac Pro. And that would be insane if Apple could make a mini LED 120 Hertz display with the M2 Ultra chip inside. Imagine a studio display with 120 Hertz and an M2 Ultra inside. That would be insane. That would be so good. It would be just a so fast buy 
that I think it to a lot of people like, like video edit and like IMAX. I think that would be just an insane product and I would really, really like Apple to release one and I would try to review one if I could. It's a very expensive com computer, I know, but it's a very cool concept and I think a lot of people will be happy if Apple releases an iMac Pro. It's one of the fan favorites and of course, in a space gray color, every single iMac looks good. But we finally reach the top, the end all be all of the Apple Silicon lineup. The Mac Pro. Yes, we haven't seen an Apple Silicon Mac Pro ever. The first time that we saw the Mac Pro, it came with the Intel processors on around the Intel transition, which was the cheese greater Mac Pro, the first one. Then we got the trash can Mac Pro around the revolution of the GPUs with the two GPU architecture. And now in 2019, we got the most recent Mac Pro, which was a cheese grade. It had Intel inside x86 architecture one year before Apple killed off and made their transition to Apple Silicon. So since then, we have been expecting a Mac Pro with the most powerful Apple Silicon chip ever. No power limitations, no issues cooling down this chip, no limitations at all. Infinite power, infinite energy, infinite capabilities. That would be the slogan for the Mac Pro. Apple, please trademark, trademark that and pay me a little bit. But the Mac Pro could be an insane machine. It could have like the first time ever, upgradability to Apple Silicon. You could probably have more RAM and external RAM. You could probably have more GPUs, external GPUs made from Apple. I don't think Apple will add external GPUs from AMD or even Nvidia, never. But Apple could add external GPUs and upgrading fast cards just like they did with the older Intel Mac Pro. And of course, if they had external RAM, that would be also insane. But this Mac Pro is expected to have a very different chip and a very different lineups of chip for the Apple Silicon, they could start with an X1, they could start with the M2 Extreme, I don't know, but it will probably be two or three or four M1 Ultras stacked together, making its most powerful Apple Silicon computer ever. Imagine how powerful is the Mac Studio, then double or triple or quadruple that performance. That could be so insane to think about and that could be so cool to have. A lot of, a lot of people on YouTube will probably make videos about it, but I only know a handful of YouTubers that could buy it and afford it. I just think MKBHD, unbo Unbox Therapy, Mr. Who's the Boss, and I don't know, Wish the Fist. Of course, this machine is more geared up for pros, more geared for, for cam companies, more geared up for companies that like to edit videos, they edit films, very high production films from Hollywood. And so it's likely that this computer will start around $10,000, six, seven, eight thousand, ten thousand dollars $10,000, and go up to $50,000, just like the Intel machine did. And so it will be a very expensive computer, not for me, not for mere mortals like us, so, when could you get this Mac Pro? Well, in my opinion, I do think that this computer has to come out this year, at least be announced. Because Apple has said that it needs to end up this transition this year, because this year marks the two year of their transition, and Apple doesn't want to miss timelines. So, I do expect Apple to release the M2 Pro, M2 Max, and M2 Ultra, together with the Mac Pro with the M2 Exchange, on a very, very pro-focused event at the end of 2022. They will announce the Mac Pro, and the more likely thing to happen is that the Mac Pro will be delayed until March or at least WWDC of 2023. So you will probably get the announcement, you will see YouTubers hands-ons, but then you won't see the hardware, at least until WWDC or next year, around spring to summer time. This is normal, Apple actually does this a lot with the Mac Pro. They did it in 2019 with the Intel Mac Pro, they announced it on 2019 WWDCs and launched it at the end of the year, close to the 2020 year mark. But what are your thoughts on this Apple Silicon lineup? Are you excited for the future of the Apple Silicon lineup? Do you think that the Mac Pro could be a game changer? Do you think that the M2 Pro and M2 Max will actually incentivize people to upgrade from their M1s and M1 Maxes, MacBook Pros? What do you think? Do you think that the Mac Mini with the M2 Pro will be a good buy? And is the iMac Pro being revived or not? Let me know all of that in the comments down below. Are you excited for the future of Apple? And are you excited for Apple's event? I cannot ignore this anymore. Apple will have the iPhone 14 in about two days, so I'm very, very excited. Oh my God, my head is exploding. I will totally get the Alpine Green iPhone 14 Pro Max. And of course, I will try to get it on the day one, get it, review it, and try to tell you what's my experience upgrading it from the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So if you are excited for that, don't forget to drop a like down below. And the most important part is for you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my most recent videos. So turn on the notification bell that's right there and follow me also on the social networks, Twitter and Instagram. This has been Tech Smart talking to you here. Bye.